Um, the match is starting. There we go. <laughs> and they're out of the gates. Stuff fixed here. Each team is sending one player a little bit of. No. Not yet. Okay, now Whis Whiskey Brigade is rushing ahead a little bit. Not too far ahead. Opting to just run on the edge of the lava rather than try and build a bridge. Yeah, he's got to be Pretty down quite tactic. a few hearts. Probably, you know, one good hit and he's out. It's true. He's got a lot of cover right now, though. So he's using... I s well, where is he? He's just building a fairly conventional staircase out. And is oh, burning okay. through the forest. Yeah. So he he's on a, in a rush to get somewhere. He's making sure to light up the forest on his way. Let you watch him while I watch the teams battle it out at the beginning. He's not stopping at the first set of supplies that are sort of in the uh, Netherbrook house. He may be going straight back to the parkour section. So Gua's holding down the PvP at the beginning. Sort of trapping the Zumbledore near the spawn. Gcash has reached the Netherrack section and is going behind it, so it looks like he is starting straight for the parkour. Looks like we just saw... Uh, Trislander may have been trying to build a cannon. I'm not exactly sure what happened here, but he did blow up and there are several pieces of TNT blew up also. He may have been shot into a cannon under construction. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure. It didn't look like there was any PvP going on down here. Meanwhile, Aqua Potion is going for their first wool. Um, Honey Play is, is making her way down. Oh, sorry. She's not. She's going for the resources, actually. For the uh, Iron and Diamond in the other beginning. Gkosh is running the parkour section. He's doing very well so far, but he's at the first difficult jump. Missed the second difficult jump. This may take is that a while. What he was, is that what he was rushing ahead to do? Yeah. That may mean their plan to, to get this done is going to happen before sunset. So they may be trying to get these walls before like seven, eight minutes are done. The teams have been, definitely been practicing a lot on this map, of course, and... So I wouldn't be surprised if, if by now they are actually quite proficient at completing that course quickly. Earlier in the tournament we saw teams fumbling around for an hour or more trying to get through the parkour course. Yeah, I believe our first run on this map was an hour and 25 minutes. And the record's now like 17 minutes. Well, tournament record. Now, interestingly, Jakash is wearing full iron armor while attempting this course. Uh, I'm not sure if that's going to help. I don't think that helps with any of the fall damage or anything. So he is sort of wasting that armor, I would say. But he's making his attempt to get the third and final wool for... Well, not final, I guess. The third wool in the lane for uh, Whiskey Brigade. Well, I think the armor is there, so I might as well put it on, because occasionally uh, we have seen mobs sort of walk in and give them some very bad days. That's a good point. Interestingly, two members of Whiskey Brigade are hanging out by the Victory Monument right at the beginning of the lane. They may be attempting a spawn kill, uh, members of Awkward Potion as they spawn, but I'm not sure why there's two members here. Actually, there are three members of Whiskey Brigade sort of back near spawn. They may have, they may be getting contained by E. Carter, who is doing a very good job of locking them down. Huh. Yeah, E. Carter and Honey play over here. A lot yeah. of action near the spawn. I think Honey is trying to run for the first wall now. Yep. Um, she definitely was crafting a bunch of armor. Yeah, she is uh, at the first turn. 
Um, e Carter doesn't have any of the armor. I, I guess she needed the, she needed the armor for. Uh, no, she isn't even wearing any armor either. No, oh, sorry, that's you. <laughs> Just kidding. But you can see. Yeah, me. she is wearing uh, iron and diamond armor. Should be able to see me. Let me check out some of the other parts of the map. Okay, um, Aqua Potion has reached the first checkpoint. Whiskey Brigade still has not. Sorry, Whiskey Brigade has reached the first checkpoint. Aqua Potion is not. <laughs> Do they have um, anyone in there? <coughs> Does Dumbledore is running it for uh, for Aqua Potion? Yeah. Honey has reached the first wool room. May have some Very blaze quickly. trouble. So this checkpoint here is just a uh, a waterfall that you can flip this lever and it'll let the waterfall down and it lets you climb back up once you've reached up here. You're not allowed to place any blocks in this parkour section. And the first section is actually proven and matches to be harder than the second part. So usually once they get the checkpoint they get it within four or five tries afterwards. He's very close. Oh yeah, he's got it. All right, Shikash opening up the wool box, grabbing the third wool for Whiskey Brigade. I think that was the first wool that has been collected. So uh, Honey grabbed the uh, oh, first Oh, that's wool. right. Honey. So Honey has the first wool for uh, Aqua Potion. So each team has one wool, although I would argue that the the wool that Jakash just got is the more difficult wool. Bunch of TMT blowing up right now at the sand section. Oh, we may be seeing a... Uh, TNT cannon over here at the at near the first wool dungeon. Interestingly, for um, Aqua Potions building a, a cannon, but definitely a TNT cannon. <laughs> Very quick build, and he's knocking. It looks like he's knocking down a lot of the sand for some reason for uh, on the Whiskey Brigade side. <laughs> maybe trying to just make it too hard to get through, or maybe he's unlocking some. Blade spawners. I'm not really sure what the purpose of this cannon is. We just saw a spread cannon, actually. No, this is, it's just a multi-shot cannon. Uh, a four-shot cannon from Whiskey Brigade near the spawn. So that is one of the reasons, I guess, that uh, that Rixie ought to come back to the spawn. I'm not really sure what exactly they're dealing this damage for, but both teams are firing cannons back and forth to try and damage the areas sort of near the spawn of the other team. Both teams also have the blue wall. Is the blue wool the, the second wool? Yes. Okay, so they must have sneaked down through the secret bypass. Yeah, both teams seem to have a, a similar strategy there. So then, I guess... Uh, that's interesting. I, I guess Aqua Potion just needs the third wool, and Whiskey Brigade just needs the first wool in order to win. Uh, I guess that's what the cannon here is for, is to prevent them from or to maybe kill them if they try and go down for the first wolf. Yeah, there's only one spot to enter, and this cannon is doing a pretty good job of being nasty around that. The lava's but, uh, about a to single kill out. A single shot of TNT isn't going to kill you if you're wearing iron armor, and several members of Whiskey Brigade are wearing iron armor. Now, they are going to have to take fall damage at this point in order to make their way down. Well, now it's being overflown with lava. Oh, okay, that may have been the purpose, yeah. That is a good call. It's going to be difficult to... Uh, clear away that lava too without actually getting rid of E. Carter's cannon <laughs> because he'll be able to constantly destroy any blocks that they place to try and uh, try and block this lava. I don't know if there are any fire protection potions in the map. I think there are actually. Uh, there is a brewing be... station. Yeah, I, I don't know if they'd be sufficient to get through the get through an entire curtain of lava like this. I, I suspect they would, actually. But... There are three fire resistance potions not too far. They're in the brick, so, the never, another brick house, so they could easily get through that. Unless they so got PvP'd on the way down. That, we may be seeing Whiskey Brigade employ those to get through. Of course, they'll have to use the two potions, one to get in and one to get back. It's an eight-minute potion. Probably. They should be able to make oh, it okay. one. I guess uh, E. Carter only has so much TNT. But 
I, th I think there's a fair amount on this map. I'm trying to remember. Like, I did a count on most of the maps. I I guess he's got to aim pretty well so that if uh, if Whiskey Ray does try and go through the lava, while they're making it through the lava, he'll be able to hit him a couple times with TNT because they're going to be moving, moving so slow. Now, E. Carter was just shot. This is their chance to make it through if they want to. Jakash is trying to place down some blocks. He is lit on fire, though, from the lava, unfortunately. Uh, Daz has reached the first checkpoint, so Awkward Pushing may have the purple will soon. All right, well, E. Carter, I'm sure, is going to make his way back here. He may face some PvP pressure. It's first night time, so if teams want to set their spawn, this is their chance. I haven't really seen any beds around, though. Daz has reached the purple wall. So Awkward Potion okay. has all three wolves. I just need to get them back. And Whiskey Brigade, or Whiskey Brigade has a much bigger head start on getting it back. And Knight has fallen, so he may have some mob pressure getting back. Seems like Whiskey Brigade may not have enough time to reach uh, reach down into the wool room before that. Ooh. Although Jakash has made some very good progress now. Uh, in, uh, in clearing out the lava. I, I believe he can almost... If he clears away this cobblestone, I think he can get through. He may not actually have a pickaxe, though. Both E. Carter looks, and Honey Looks like he doesn't have up. a pickaxe. He's, uh... Oh, very risky move. He's clearing his way through with, uh... By, by uh, allowing some of the lava back in. I'm not sure he's going to be able to get back out with the wool, even if he does retrieve it. Now, Awkward Potion may also have a difficult time getting, uh, getting the wool back, because... Whiskey Brigade is is has created another multi-shot cannon and is really devastating the entire area around their spawn. There's a lot of lava everywhere, and they may have to try and build a bridge across. I'm not sure how they're going to make it across. So it may not be as simple as just bringing the wool back for Awkward Potion in order to claim victory. Well, Daz has reached the nether brick house. He may have to deal with a creeper. And he's making sure to pick up the dirt bricks spawned by the creeper, so I think he knows that ahead he's going to need to do some building. Now, E. Carter and Honeyplay are sort of trapped near the spawn area. They weren't able to set their spawn further down the lane, and so they don't really have many supplies. I think they've already used up all of the PvP supplies that they were given, maybe? Oh, uh, whoops. Uh, used a power tool. <laughs> Okay, well they have some bows, but no arrows, as far as I can tell. So... Right, Daz has reached the lava pit. Has Whiskey Brigade been able to get anybody into the wool uh, multi-turn section here? Yeah, I think that Jakash yeah. is down here, but he's going to have a hell of a time making his way back. He's fighting some blazes. He may not even be able to successfully fight those off. And he's getting a silverfish oh, cascade. silverfish too. He's wearing iron armor, but we'll see if that lasts him. He's on fire too, which doesn't doesn't do much. I think that Akar Potion is going to try and build a bridge across rather than try and uh, try and go down and around. The Zumbledore is back uh, to the starting area with the wool, but again, it's going to be very hard for him to make his way across. I think both teams are entirely focused on this area by the bridge at the spawn point. Yeah, with the lockdown being in Whiskey Brigade's favor, time is on their side, so the longer this lasts, the more likely it'll be their victory. I, I do believe that Whiskey Brigade is going to be able to hold this for quite a while. Uh, Chakash has... Let's see, I didn't see him die. I think they may yeah, be trying to the toss room. stuff down to E. Carter. He's built a little dirt fort down there. And Oddmast is joining him. Now, I wonder if there are any chests down below. I think there probably are some chests down in the basement that would have supplies. Uh, there's a bunch of arrows down in the basement, and they should be able to reach that without going across the bridge. So, not sure if we'll see, see that happen. 
And I think Chikash is on his way out. There's still lava in the way, but he's on yeah, fire again too. He's gonna have he's gonna have a bit of a hard time. A bunch of blazes have spawned in the path, and there's a ton of skeletons. Uh, oh, sorry, he's past the skeletons. Wait, where is he? He's on the last uh, little room with the bed. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, and he's set his spawn too. But he will still have to deal with the blazes, and and build a path out uh, across the lava, through the lava, really. But he's making progress. They may be able to, at this point, grab some fire protection potions and just sort of blitz their way through that lava. Chikash has put his last uh, blaze on. He's taking out some of the lava with the red wool that he has. And he got set on fire and is getting pushed into the lava by a zombie. Oh no. And he's munching on apples. Was it a golden apple or? No. Oh. <laughs> I think he thinks he's gonna. No, okay, he didn't die. He now he doesn't have a pickaxe, so he, there's a bunch of cobblestone that was formed by the lava and the and the water combining, and it's gonna be very slow for him to make his way through that. We'll see if he's able to. <laughs> and he played drawing a lot of fire in her little dirt hut. And a blaze is coming up behind him. Is that right? He is very close to making his way out. I think he's just punching through a block of cobblestone. Okay, and I think that should do it. Daz has made it to the base of the lava mountain here. I don't think the enemy sees him. But they're able to do a handoff, possibly. Yeah, so it looks like... They should have multiple team members with the wool. Actually, all they have to do at this point is make their way up through a waterfall, which shouldn't be too hard, although with all this all this enemy fire, it may be kind of difficult, so... Yeah, Honey has some red wool. I don't know if they've delivered up the... or placed the green wool on the monument. Or is it... it's purple and blue. Okay. It's purple and blue, yeah. Okay, well, the cannon's getting fired. Uh, it looks like I missed Honey. Oh, Honey died. So E. Carter is trying to make his way up to place the final wool. E. Carter also died. So, of course, they're spawning at the beginning here. There is a skeleton. I don't think that's going to be... Eh, that could actually be kind of a problem. Jakash is heading back with the red wool. It does look like Whiskey Brigade is going to win this. I don't see any way the Awkward Potion will be able to stop them. I don't think they have any weapons. Yep, he's placed the final wall. There we go. Very, very close match. Intense. 